we have heretofore stated, the great Jubilee cycles do to begin in 1925. At that time the earthly phase of the kingdom shall be recognized. The Apostle Paul in the 11th chapter of Hebrews names a long list of faithful men who died before the crucifixion of the Lord and before the beginning of the selection of the church. These can never be a part of the heavenly class. They had no heavenly hopes. But God has in store something good for them. They are to be resurrected as perfect men and constitute the princes or rulers in the earth, according to his promise. Psalm 45. 16. Isaiah 32 1. Matthew 8 11. Therefore we may confidently expect that 1925 will mark the return of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and the faithful prophets of old, particularly those named by the Apostle in Hebrews chapter 11, to the condition of human perfection. Based upon the argument heretofore set forth, then, that the old order of things, the old world, is ending and is therefore passing away, and that the new order is coming in, and that 1925 shall mark the resurrection of the faithful worthies of old and the beginning of reconstruction, it is reasonable to conclude that millions of people now on the earth will be still on the earth in 1925. Then, based upon the promises set forth in the Divine Word, we must reach the positive and indisputable conclusion that millions now living will never die.